Hello everybody, uh, this is Dr. Ross and Buff Carlin here with another program of Greater Than a Higher Power and uh, today I want to talk to you about sp the importance of speaking the Word of God to your problems. To speak what the Word of God says. It's important to know what the Word of God says and for any problem but also you know I specialize in helping people with addiction problems. So, you know, I went through my addictions and I got set free years ago by Jesus Christ. And now I have a passion to help other people. I am a licensed clinical addiction specialist. All right. And so uh, that's what I'm about. I have a passion to help people overcome addictions. But also this will help with any kind of problem. What I'm talking about today with my program of Greater Than a Higher Power. And just to remind you that I did write a book called Greater Than a Higher Power. Uh, and the subtitle is Addiction Recovery Yesterday, Today, and Forever by Dr. Ross and Buff Carlin. You can get it from uh, Amazon Books or I think I have a website called Greater Than Higher Power also. But anyways, I just want to talk to you today about the importance of speaking the word of God to your problems directly, specifically for whatever problem you're going through that you speak up. Speak the word of God. It's important to know the word of God. Yes, it's good to know God's word generally, and there's some people who, who know about uh, the word of God, uh, but it's so much different when you understand how to apply it to your life and to your specific situation, whatever you're going through in life, I am telling you, speaking the word of God brings benefits. And I, I wrote down some notes here, so I want to put on my glasses. I might look kind of geeky, but that's life, all right? But anyway, so uh, it's good to know the Word of God. Speaking the Word of God, this can help minister to you, set you free, and help you, help you have victory in your life when you learn how to speak God's Word, the importance of it to it. So it's, to me, I've learned to speak God's Word. What does God's Word say on the mat matter? That's the, you know... The, the final, uh, basically, the, the final authority of all truth is God's word, all right? So, uh, so it's actually important to read the Bible for ourselves and to speak what God says over ourselves, over our own lives, and over other people. Uh, it tells us in uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, says that faith comes by hearing the word of God. So faith comes by hearing the word of God. And so it's good for us to speak the word of God. Yes, it's good to hear somebody preach the word, you know, and that's good. But if you, you know, I think it's even important when you read, you know, especially read the Bible, read it out loud. So you hear it because faith comes by hearing the word of God and you grow in your faith. And there's something about speaking the word of God that's so important. So faith comes by hearing the word of God. But, you know, notice this about what we say. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. So what we say, some people dwell on negative things and almost uh, uh, without saying bad words, but it's almost like they're bringing a curse on themselves or other people or you can, we can speak blessings. So I think it's important to realize that our tongue is a powerful force. And what we speak is very important. So are we speaking life or are we speaking death? Think about that. All right, so uh, uh, in Mark chapter 11, verse 22 through 23, and basically this portion of scripture is, is uh, something that, Somebody has brought to mind Kenneth Hagin. He's the one who just emphasized through his lifetime on this earth, emphasized Mark chapter 11, verse 22 and 23, which says this. It talks about having the word of faith. It's, it basically says this. Have faith in God. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, well, whosoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says, remember it's what he says, is going to take place, 
it will be done for him basically according to God's will. So we can speak to situations. And mountains got to leave. They got to go. If you're facing some kind of a mountain, some big problem, uh, some big challenge in your life, I encourage you to speak to it. Speak to that problem. Speak to that mountain. And believe God that he's going to remove it. And he will. You know, and, and that's just so important to know. All right, so this means that we can speak to illnesses, troubles, and whatever mountains that are in our lives and command them to go as long as we're speaking according to God's will and God's word. So that's important. All right, there's huge power in God's word. God's words are powerful. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, it tells us that Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power. All things by the word of his power. Wow. And it's his word that made us. You think about it, all right? He upholds all things by the word of his power. There's power in the words of Jesus Christ, all right? And actually in John chapter 6, verse 63, Jesus said, the words that I speak into you, they are spirit and they are life. And you can have spirit and real life and abundant life and joyous life if you believe the Lord. So it's powerful. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 it says that the word of, of the Lord is living and active. All right. Sharper than a two-edged sword piercing to the division of soul and a spirit of joints and marrow discerning the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So the word of God is living. It's active. It's powerful. God's word is powerful. It's important to know what God's word is and speak God's word about whatever situation uh, comes our way. All right. Do you realize that God actually spoke the world into existence in Genesis chapter 1? All right. Uh, basically, he spoke, said, let there be light. Right? Just let. He said, let there be. And there was. There's power in our words. Creative power. You know, and creative power, you know, that's how God operated, and that's what we are. We as believers, we are basically living, breathing, not just souls, but spirits, all right? And we can speak forth, and the Lord wants us to learn, and that's what I want to emphasize today is speak to your problem. Don't just pray about it. It's good to pray, but speak to the problem. I learned years ago, uh, I used to, uh, you know, I pastored a church. Uh, th in this case, I was in uh, Louisiana. And I heard some teaching uh, by some ministers. And basically, they talked about uh, Jesus didn't really pray for the sick very much. He mostly just spoke, spoke the word. And so basically, he spoke and what happened is like, you know, someone might be blind, he'd say, see, our ears were plugged up, they couldn't hear, and he'd say, open. You know, he just spoke. He spoke, you know, in uh, the, you know, in Luke chapter 11 to Lazarus, he was dead. And in the tomb, he had him roll away the stone, and he said, Lazarus, come forth. He spoke to it. And we need to speak to our situations in life. Speak to it. And God will back up his word. The Bible says he confirms his word with signs following. So I encourage you, if you're going through problems in life or addiction issues, whatever they may, whatever they might be, to trust the Lord and to learn to speak his word. But we need to know what God's word is. All right. Uh, and it also tells us this in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 26. God says that he carries out the words of his servants and fulfills the predictions of his messengers. So he carries out the words of his servants. He carries them out. God will carry it out. God has our back. And if we'll speak to our problem, speak to our mountains, speak to the addiction issues, whatever those thing, things that come against us, God will come through for us. 
all right? And he we, he carries out his word. The Bible says that the, the Lord watches over his word to perform it. And he'll watch over our words when they're in line with God's word. And it's so important to know that. So whatever situations, uh, it's good to speak to it. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, in the Amplified, it says this. So shall my word be, which goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me void. Void just means like useless or without results. Without accomplishing what, accomplishing what I desire. Without succeeding in the matter which I sent it. When we speak God's word into a situation, the same power goes with it. There's power in it. And God will fulfill the words that we speak when they're in line with him. And when, when we're in line with God's word, you know, and he'll do it. And so that's, uh, we're creating God's image and, and need to be actively and continually speaking and praying the word into our lives and over every situation, every circumstance, specific words from God to that. Speak to it, speak to the mountain and it'll, it's gotta go, all right? Uh, and it, it's important to do that. I love to speak God's word. God's word brings life and it delivers. It does all kinds of things. We have the same spirit of faith, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. So the same spirit, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us as believers. And says, according as it is written, I believed and therefore I spoke it. So it's important to believe and to speak it. And I want you to believe that God will back you up. If you'll speak to your situation, what the word of God says to it, uh, God will come through for you. You can overcome your addictions or problems or mountains or whatever comes your way. God will pre perform on our behalf. He'll do it. He'll do it for you. All right. So talking, the word of God is very important to us as children of God. All right. Uh, so the Bible instructs us, even in Joshua chapter one, verse eight, it says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. What does this mean? It should, we should, basically, we should always speak the word of God. And so let it be in our, our mouth at all time. Let's speak it out. Let's speak out God's word. And we'll speak out our words and not just, oh, I got this problem. I got this mountain. I got this hurdle. I got this challenge. And if we focus on the, on that, then uh, uh, we're not focused on the right thing. We could focus on it or we could just speak to it. And it's better to speak to it and command it to change. And it'll change. So speaking the word of God is confessing God's word is proof that you believe what the Lord says. If you agree with what God says in his word, you, you will say it out. That shows that you believe in his word. And this is very important. Why? Because God's word doesn't work for any man who doesn't believe it. You got to believe. Remember, we believe, so we speak it. We must believe that what God says to be the absolute truth and prove that you believe by saying it before it can even produce results. You know, in Romans chapter 4, it says that God calls those things that be not as though they are. You know, and we can call some things into existence. They're not that way now. But we can speak to those mountains, speak to those situations, and it'll be different. It'll change. You know, I've known of some people who uh, uh, look into a mirror. And spoke to themselves, you know, like, hey, you're deliver delivered from tobacco. Or I know a guy who had a cocaine problem. He looked in the mirror and would say, I am free from cocaine. I'm free from cocaine. I no longer use cocaine. I'm redeemed from that. And things like that. Uh, and it happened for him. It worked. So I'm here to tell you God's word works. So we have that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that dwells in us. So believe God's word. Speak God's word, all right? Don't just talk about all your challenges and problems. Don't, you know, talk the word. Don't talk about your feelings. Uh, 
Uh, you know, just talk the word. Don't talk sickness. Talk the word. Whatever the situation is, no matter how unpleasant it is, all you need to do is to know that God's word, what God's word says about it, and keep saying it. And in a short time, everything will change. So that what you say consistently, will be, you, you'll be a word talker. You know what God says, and you do that, and God will come through for you. He is a faithful God. All right. So it's important to speak the word of faith from God's word and watch it work. God's word works. All right. So believe in God is wonderful, but Jesus urged us to do more. Uh, do one more thing to speak the word of faith, to verbalize what we are seeking from God. Uh, such a believer understands the power of speaking the word of God with boldness and faith. So have, it says in the scriptures, whatsoever he saith, you can have it. I am telling you, if we'll just believe God and speak what God says, we don't have to give in to any kind of defeat. And we need to, it says, you shall have whatever you say. So whatever you say, and I say, we're victorious. You know, I say we're the head, not the tail. That's what the scripture says, right? I say the blessings are overtaking me in the city, in the field. I say I am free from addictions. I say I'm free uh, from negative emotions. You know, believe God, speak to it. And, and God will turn things around. So there's actually different uh, stones of faith here in looking at these scriptures. And, um, and it basically says this. Have faith in God. That's in verse 22 there of uh, uh, of Luke. It says, faith in his word and in the promises of God. Faith in his son Jesus. It's not faith in faith or memorized formula that gets results, but faith in God. So it's half, it says, have faith in God. All right, from Luke 11. And then also, the second part of that, it says, believing in your heart without doubting. Believe that God will back it up. You know, speak to the situation. Speak to it. In Jesus' name, that mountain's got to go. And say with your mouth what you believe. Speak the word of God loud. All right, so it's important. Believe in your heart. Say with your mouth. Believe in God and his word is of great importance. But Jesus encouraged us further to articulate, to say it out loud what we are believing God for. There is great power in a spoken word of faith. So I just want to encourage you to speak God's word. Don't just read it. It's good to meditate on it, all those things, but also speak it out. You know what God says about whatever situation you're going through, because God loves you and he's with you and he's going to help you through it and one way is the word. I'm telling you, he created the world through speaking out. You know, to let there be, and there was. So I say, let there be light. Let there be what everything. All right. And also says this in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. It says, this is the confidence. It's good. I'm trying to help you have confidence in God and in his word. We have in approaching God that if we ask, anything according to his word. Now, no says anything, anything according to his word. And of course, the Lord wants us to be free from addictions. He wants us to have peace and joy and all these kind of things, all right? He says, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of him, all right? So ask. There is a scripture that says you have not because you ask not. But also, I think it's so important to speak forth, speak up, ask God for things. But there's times he wants us to speak the word of faith over whatever situation or mountain or problem that comes our way. You can be free. It's your time to be free. All right. Uh, but anyways, we need to pray according to his will and with his will and it can be found in the Bible. All right. Uh, so there are some things, if we just trust God, we'll see it happen. 
Uh, we can say, you know, Lord, I believe with your Jehovah Jireh. That means you're my healer. You know, the Lord our healer. There's all kinds of promises about divine healing. All right. And the freedom from addictions would fit into that also. You know, and, uh, and through Christ, we can defeat the devil and not be defeated by him. Right. Uh, so anything we do, we speak forth in God's name. He will do it. It says in Hebrews 13, 5 and verse 5 and 6, because God has said, so we say with confidence. So God says it, so we speak. We're, you know, we're to operate like him. We're made in his image and likeness, and we're supposed to be like him. You know, it says, when God was spoken, has spoken on a subject, this emboldens us to speak forth on that subject, whatever it is. You know, if you need physical healing, it's provided. So speak it out and believe God and speak to it. The Bible is word of God Almighty and his words on our lips have immense power. And I want you to know that. Speak to your situation. Just don't keep putting up with some things that are there. Speak to it. Command it to go. Command it like Jesus got up when his... Uh, when, uh, the sea was raging and his disciples are getting all shook up and blown around that boat. And Jesus got up and rebuked the winds, right? He spoke to it. Peace, be still. And I want you to know God wants you to be at peace and be still. But he spoke to a storm, spoke to the winds. And we can also, we have this same authority. We have the same privilege as believers, all right? All right, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 8 through 10 says, the word is near you. It's in your mouth. The word of God's in our, in our mouth. All right, it's in our heart. And that is a word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Lord, and believe in your heart that God will raise him from the dead, you shall be saved. All right. For it is uh, with your heart that you believe and are justified as with your mouth that you confess and are saved. So we need to believe, but also confess it and speak it forth. So speak the word of God. All right. And uh, it says with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's that Greek word said, soteria. Salvation has so much. It means deliverance also. All right. And healing. Many good things. All right. So. We have healing, deliverance, rescue, safety, all right? So it's good to realize that. Speak God's word. Sometimes we want others to come and help us. It's fine to have help. It's wonderful to have help. But if we will use the tools and devices that God gives us, you know, if you look in Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about putting on the whole armor of God. Well, there's, you know, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. I'm not going to go through the whole armor. But basically, it talks about having to shield the spirit to quench the fiery darts of the enemy that come our way. But also, we need to have the sword of the spirit, the word of God. And it's important to have the word of God. The Bible actually says we're supposed to let the word of God uh, dwell in us richly. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So it's important to know the word and believe it, all right? Uh, but God, during creation, God just kept saying, I, you know, let it to be, light be, and there was. All right, God has unlimited power. He spoke the whole universe into existence, and things can change. Things can be different if we'll speak to things and not just sit there and think, well, this is the way it is. I want to tell you, God wants you to be free from addictions, you know, worry, anxiety, all those things. He wants you to be free. And sometimes you have to speak to it, you know, speak to it. You know, just on today, I was actually in some pain, some physical pain. I don't have it that often, but I did. And you know what I did? I laid hands on myself and spoke to the pain. I said, in Jesus' name, I command you to go, pain. And I thank you, Lord, that you healed me, and I'm healed. And you know what I am? And I feel good, and I'm glad I did it. All right? Uh, so anyways, there's power in the, word, in the word of God. Uh, and if we'll just 
understand God, speak his word. Goodness sakes, time just goes so fast uh, when sharing God's word. All right. Well, anyways, uh, this, it's important to speak out loud the situation. Speak up. It's almost like, uh, you know, there are people sometimes can get bullied and they, unless you'll stand up for yourself. You got to speak up for yourself. Now, I spent, uh, you know, nine months of my life locked up and I had some people try to bully me. But I just spoke up and just, you know, told them what I'd do to them and all that stuff and they backed off. But if you just sign it, if you don't speak up, you're not going to have results. You know, the walls came down from Jericho. Remember, they walked around it, the walls uh, of the city six times. But on the seventh day, they blew the trumpet and they shouted and the walls came down. Sometimes we need to speak to those walls to come down, speak to those mountains, speak to whatever problem and trust God that he's going to work it out. All right. Uh, in Luke chapter 6, verse 45, it says, The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And the evil man brings forth evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of, the, of his heart, his mouth speaks. So I hope that you're speaking words of faith and you're believing God. All right. So the mouth tends to speak what's in the heart. That's what comes out. All right, God has given us authority to overcome all the power of the enemy is what the scripture says. So we don't need to be, we don't need to be fearful. Uh, uh, we'll fill our hearts up with God and with his word. And I want to say when you do that, faith will rise and you do great. All right, so it's important to have faith in God. Do you believe God's promises? God promised that he'll never leave you, never forsake you, that he will see you through, that he'll give you victory every day, all right? So if you want to see God's promises to you to be fulfilled, it's important to make sure your words match up with God's word, what God says, all right? So the best way to encourage yourself is to basically Say what God says. You know, you're, you're the head, not the tail. You're accepting the beloved. You're loved, and all, and and that you are free, in Jesus' name. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. So it's important to know that. Goodness sakes, we're running out of time. All right. Well, I got so many more scriptures I want to share with you, but I'm not going to take time now. Matthew chapter 24, verse 35 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. What the word of the Lord is, is going to come to pass. All right? And it's going to accomplish whatever it's set out to do. All right? So every word of God, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 says, Every word of God proves true. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. You know, man should not live by bread alone. Another, oh, goodness, I'm running out of time. All right, I won't have time for all this. But I want to tell you, God loves you. Speak to your problem. Try it. Try it. Do it. Speak to your problems and God will give you victory. Heavenly Father, I pray for each one listening to me right now that they would call upon you and be saved and they would speak specific words to their problems. And Lord, that, that, that those mountains and those problems will go and that they'll have victory in their lives and everything they do. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.